They charge a monthly fee to be a member of their church. Okay. They force people so does to... the Catholic Church. They, they don't charge. No, they don't charge. They don't charge, they but they encourage you to give a... Well, encouraging a, month, a donation... A monthly fee when you go in there. Encouraging a donation is not the same as charging a membership fee. Okay. But they're not claiming that they're a... Religious or... Oh, oh, yes, they do. Yeah, they are tax-exempt religious... They are, yeah, they are tax-exempt religious organizations. Okay, so my next question is, why are you disguising yourself? The masks are an act of solidarity That's for people cool. who are in Scientology, who are afraid to get out because of fear of retaliation L. Ron from, from Scientology. L. Ron Hubbard, the founder? Yeah. What about, what about him? Well... L. Ron Hubbard is, I mean, I've read books, I'm not a member of Scientology. Okay. I'm no longer anything that says Catholic Church. I'm well, we're not. We are non uh, But my question to you is, why are you disguising yourself? Well, like I was saying, masks are an act of solidarity for people who can't get out of Scientology for fear of... Retaliation. That's a very weak argument. Well, not if you look at the figures of what they've done to people who've tried to get out, and also what they tried to, to get out. Them. You're making it seem like it's a. Uh, uh, they have to sign a contract. A cult, like it is a it, cult. <laughs> That's what we're protesting. They are a cult. Yeah. They are a France, dangerous cult. In France, they're actually classified as a cult, and they're not seen as a religion in the UK, Ireland, France, or Greece. Or Australia. Uh, but that's just that that it's a weak argument. That they're There's dangerous. Just the masks on and it's because you're trying to misidentify yourself as Have you ever heard of the Day of Silence? No. The Day of Silence uh, is a day in April, April twenty sixth. Yep. Now this is not us, this is something different. It's just like what we're doing. The Day of Silence is an act of solidarity for people who can't come out of the closet because they're gay for fear of retaliation. Okay. So they, so, but, every, so but gay is. I, I know that's what I'm saying. It has nothing to I do mean, with this. I just so like this. So gay everybody who's in support. Gay people are so norm right now. It's like I know, I fifty percent of the people you meet are gay. I know. I, know I understand. I'm not gay, but the people that I meet who are gay. <laughs> Are people that I would hang out with. No, I understand. And I, I, I support. I'm just saying, it's an act of solidarity where if you don't, you don't talk on the day of silence for the people who can't come out of the closet. We are a mask for people so who why are. Why can't you stand in front of their building? Oh, we get we get thrown up by the cops. We've tried standing over there. Why do you get thrown up by the cops? Because they They're say we're not allowed to be over there. You know what? You're preaching the choir because we say the same thing. <laughs> but they have threatened to arrest all of us if we go over there. Yeah. So we just don't want any trouble. Well, from the cops. Okay, so now your unit of seven or eight people here are probably more or less college. <laughs> Why are you so indulgent? Being paid 
by the pharmaceutical companies. <laughs> yeah, I know. He said the pharmaceutical companies are paying you guys to do all this. Yeah, I wish. And I said, so what are the cameras doing outside? He says, there's no cameras out. He's Russian. There's no cameras outside. I says, I'll show them to you. He says, I wish you would. So I took him outside. You saw me walk yeah. out. Yeah. I was hoping you'd bring him over here to, so we could talk to him. <laughs> that one right up there, you see yeah. with the cover on it? Yeah. That's a fucking security camera. Oh yeah, we know. They always have, you know what? Right in front of the building. They put a camera in and this I window said, all the time, too. Show me that that's not a camera. He took me all the way upstairs. I says, and you own this building. He says, no, we don't own it, we pay rent. I says, you own this fucking building. I says, I know you do, I've seen the records. Which I've never yeah. seen. <laughs> so he comes outside and I show him, I said, that's a camera right up there. I says, you're filming these kids outside. And he says, no, we don't film no one, I, I will show you. So I go upstairs, we're walking upstairs and I trip over a fucking video camera wire. <laughs> I trip right over it. I says, that's the camera right there. He says, well, I, I can't take you into that room right now. <laughs> he says, I don't have the key. I says, you know what? I've heard enough from you, pal. I got to fucking go. You're full of shit. Well, we're glad to see you come out OK. He gave me this shit. They don't want to be known because they're getting paid by um, the pharmaceutical rep. Yeah, we've heard uh, we've heard that story before. You're getting paid by the pharmaceutical reps. That's how you're paying your way through college. And <laughs> I know, really. <laughs> well, that's what he said, and I'm like, well, there's only really like one or two people on the ground floor. And then he took me upstairs to see the video cameras that I accused him of having before he threw me out. And there's like six or seven guys upstairs. 